for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's good guys, Venom Fire here back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys my full strong close offensive ebook. In my opinion, the best offenses in Madden this year are ones where you can run the ball and pass the ball effectively. Uh, so we're going to be in strong close. Tons of great passes uh, and we're just going to use those to our best ability. Show you guys a ton of different setups out of about six passing play or six total plays. Um, we're going to be in strong close again. We're in the San Francisco 49ers offensive playbook. This is also in Raiders. Uh, 49ers is going to be better just simply because you have one more play and it's going to be mesh posts that we're running. Um, but again, Raiders, if you want to run Raiders because you like trips, you like to audible between those certain things, then you can run that. But we will be talking about mesh posts today. Uh, a couple of abilities you do want. You're going to want backfield master. We have Christian McCaffrey. Put your backfield master at the fullback position right here. Uh, your running back doesn't need any abilities. And then you need tight end apprentice. So I trade over a ton of different players just to the Panthers. Uh, so I trade over Darren Waller, and then also I do recommend getting high throw power, so I just trade over Josh Allen so we can get some throw power for some of those deep balls. You see I am on current gen for this video. If you are running next gen, if you are playing next gen, this scheme does work. Uh, this is what I'm running right now on next gen. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be making these videos on current gen because obviously 90% of you guys are still on current gen. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into our audibles. We got mesh post, halfback dive, FL drive, and PA deep cross. Additionally, we're going to be talking about PA deep, Y trail, uh, and then angle out. So again, we have about six passing plays, and that one run play is going to be dive. You also do have off tackle, uh, which is a really good run as well. So we're just going to start out with our first play. Uh, let's go with mesh post. So mesh post, uh, it's a unique play. A lot of people probably haven't seen it before because the most popular uh, strong closes usually are in the Raiders playbook but again this is a really solid play so pretty much what you're gonna go ahead and do for this mesh post setup uh, it's a pretty quick snap type setup so what I like to do is just throw X on a slant and that's pretty much all you have to do you always want to have a couple of quick snap setups because you will notice a lot of defensive players are gonna make tons of adjustments you kind of have to make a lot of defensive adjustments this year uh, also this is just gonna be a quick beater against man coverage uh, but really all you have to do is throw X on a slant you see RB is already on that table route um, if you want, you can throw them on that other table route, but really they're basically the same. So yeah, you got A on a drag, X on a slant, uh, and then just B on his post route. What you want to do, motion B out just a step and then snap the ball like this. You see that B is going to get wide, wide open right there. Uh, basically you're screening a couple of high low reads. Uh, our high low reads are going to be the drag to post combo. We also have the slant to table route combo. And then obviously in the middle of the field, we got the post to slant combo. Just a ton of crossing routes. Really difficult to defend. Uh, again, if they run man coverage, let's just run a stock man coverage setup. Uh, the motion out is going to prevent that post from being pressed. The slant will get pressed, uh, but the tight end is going to beat man coverage. Uh, the slant is going to beat man coverage eventually. And then the post route will also beat man coverage. Uh, so you see first read against man is just going to be the tight end right away. You see Waller is going to create instant separation. Um, but yeah, really good against man and zone. One more time for our first setup, X on a slant, uh, and then just motion B out a step and snap the ball. Again, that's more for man coverage, but you see against zone, it's going to help him get in that soft spot of the zone uh, because he's going to break earlier, therefore creating you know an easier low ball opportunity in between the zones. Uh, moving on, let's go with a different setup. Now with this setup, it's going to be um, a little bit of a corner route type concept. This is kind of a cover three beater. It's worked for me sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, so I don't feel comfortable calling it super reliable. Um, but pretty much what you wanna do is just throw X on a streak, and then you're gonna put RB on a Texas route. So again, we have backfield master, we have those additional hot routes. We're gonna use RB to put him on a Texas route. And then with Robbie Anderson, I like to smart route him, and then I like to motion him over to the left. Uh, some of the cover three beaters um, have like this corner route to streak concept. Now this one, in my opinion, is not the best because of how inside Samuel is. It's really difficult to get him outside. Uh, and you'll see, I'm just gonna try and you know throw that cover three beater right off the bat. Uh, you see how close he is to the safety. It's really difficult to create separation. You know, you can like we just did there, but um, if you had like a wide receiver apprentice, I would definitely recommend throwing B on that corner out. But even with um, you know the facts, let's say they play a deep half over there, the corner out's gonna get wide open. And then we still have a couple of other routes like this at Texas route that's going to get wide open. You're forcing him to use that. 
Uh, and then obviously I can like motion snap and then throw my corner out or I can check down. You see the both were open and then the Texas route trailing. So those are my two setups for mesh post. Again, um, I'll give you guys tons of base setups, but really you can do uh, whatever you want with these plays. You can create different concepts. Um, but yeah, that's it for mesh post. Let's move on to uh, uh, our second play. We're just going to go into the halfback dive. Again, this is really the only run I'm going to talk about. We do have off tackle. I personally don't like the off tackle too much, but um, if they did have an inside stuff ability, so a lot of people in Mutt this year, they're going to put inside stuffs on one of these guys, uh, and that's going to just completely ruin your dive. You're not going to be run, you're not going to be able to run a halfback dive the entire game if they have that ability, and that's where you can run off tackle. If they don't, this dive is really, really good. You see, just base. Look at the blocks we got. Uh, now, the best way to run halfback dive this year. And really, last year as well, was to motion this receiver over. And with a lot of setups, we're actually going to motion Anderson over. You already saw we did it with mesh posts. So uh, that he's, he might even think pass. So uh, you can quick snap the dive, or you can motion him over like that. He's going to help out with blocking uh, and really allow the cut back to the weak side of the field. So again, I can just come out here, snap the ball. Um, more times than not, I'm going to actually cut it over to the left side. Uh, and obviously with the run game, your run game is going to be a little bit compromised because of the fact that we do have a receiving back here with McCaffrey. Uh, you know, that is what it is. But you're willing to give up a little bit of the ground game to get those extra hot routes, I think. Now, an ultimate team, the guys that do have this backfield master ability are McCaffrey, uh, or for 1 AP, McCaffrey, Bush, and then Kamara. Uh, I think those are the only three right now. There's a couple of other guys. I know Mostert gets it for 2 AP, but again, you're really looking for 1 AP so that you can get O-line abilities and extra QB abilities like Gunslinger, whatever. So, yeah, those are just three guys. I use Kamara and Mutt. He does a good job even though he's slow. He gets the job done. So that's pretty much it for Dive. You see just a really, really good run. We ran it a ton. We've never got like less than five yards running it the entire time. Overall, it's an excellent, excellent run play. Let's move on to our next pass play, FL Drive. This is a really, really good play. And really in every formation, you need a play like FL Drive. Uh, Pretty much the reason why is you just need to deep post. Uh, you always want to deep post out of every single formation. It's really important to the formation that you have any kind of a deep post for a cover three beater threat or a cover two beater threat as well. So um, for these first couple of setups, uh, I'm not going to talk about the cover three beater and then we will go into that um, after we talk about some base setups. Now the first setup with this is A on a post route. Again, that's going to be deep pad to down because we have the tight end apprentice ability. And then you're just going to throw B on a slant and motion him over. So for this setup, we do have six people blocking. Uh, we'll throw an extra hot route next time we run it. Um, but yeah, just create a simple high-low read. Uh, you see we have slant to table route, and then we have post to slant route. Uh, a lot of times people might be playing strong close very aggressively, I would say, because you do have to put out a lot of zones, man up certain people. So if they do go with a cover two shell, that deep of, the deep middle of the field can be wide open. Again, you do notice that that post route takes up a lot of zones and really does open up your slant route pretty effectively. Uh, the next step to running this setup would be to throw a Y on a wheel route like this. So I love the, the wheel to post route combination. That's really going to help you out. Uh, and you see just running it stock with no other zones, it's going to be pretty, pretty open there. So um, I highly do recommend that wheel route. Uh, we will be using this running back wheel route a lot. Uh, really, all running backs catch the ball this year, so you don't need any abilities on your running back to have him run the routes. We're not putting him on extra hot routes uh, either. So again, A on a post, B on a slant, Y on a wheel, and then you are good to go. Again, we're motioning Anderson from right to left. We're going to do that a lot throughout the video. And a lot of the setups, a lot of the plays, we do that. So it's not going to be um, the worst thing in the world. He's not going to know what play you're running because you motion him over. We're doing that out of every single play. So... That was the first setup for FL Drive. Let's go with our cover three beater now. Now with the cover three beater, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, obviously, you want some speedy receivers. That's why I'm using Carolina base, not only because of McCaffrey, but we have 95 speed over here and 94 speed over here. Uh, again, I like strong close. You don't need abilities on your wide receivers. You don't need hot route abilities or route running abilities. They really can create separation on their own. So uh, with Samuel, we're just going to leave him there. We're going to throw A on a corner route. We're not going to smart route it. Very important they do not smart route it. Uh, these shorter corner routes are better at pulling down outside thirds this year. So do not smart route that corner. You want to leave him on that kind of fat-ish corner route, I would say. 
Uh, now over here on the left hand side of the ball, we're going to throw Y on a wheel and we're going to put B on a flat. Now you're probably wondering why do we have two flat zones? Uh, simply why we do that is because we're just going to motion him over from right to left in this wheel route to flat. So I'm just going to show you the wheel to flat combo against cover three. Look how much space Davis has right there. Uh, and we're going to be doing that out of other plays as well. But just for a cover three beater, let's say he deep halves, that's an instant read. You're forcing your opponent. Throughout this video, you will see why your opponent's going to have to man up Mike Davis every single play. Uh, and that was the reason why. So again, the setup, A on a corner out, B on a flat. Again, I kind of like the regular flat better, so I would probably throw McCaffrey on his own flat as well. Um, but yeah, so Y on a wheel as well. Now let's throw the cover three beater. With the cover three beater, you do want to get out of the pocket. Uh, you get shedded a lot this year. Josh Allen does have a skate artist, so I'll be using that a little bit throughout the video. You don't need it. I would just recommend getting Gunslinger. Uh, Josh Allen doesn't have Gunslinger, but look at how open Curtis Samuel is. You see, I scrambled out of the pocket, and I still almost got hit. Very slow developing post route, so um, you can also block one of your running backs if that is an issue. I would recommend blocking McCaffrey in this case. Um, but yeah, you saw he was able to get over the top. Show it again. A on a corner out. B on a flat. Y on a wheel. Motion out. Again, even if you don't have a skate artist, you probably do want to slide over to that right side of the pocket uh, so that you don't get shedded. Uh, here, I can't really because it's kind of on a contain animation, but still throwing from the pocket wide, wide open there. Um, it's just a little bit tighter. Again, make sure you pass the to the right side in this case. So um, uh, let's say he deep halves. I'm going to deep half here, my cover three. Uh, it's not going to be open, so we're going to have probably the corner out open. If not, we have couple of high low reads uh, again here's a look at our setup b on a flat y on a wheel or b on a flat and a on the corner motion them over we deep half so i can either check down which i will right here um and if i am checking down i want to throw it a little bit earlier so we can get that rat catch or i could obviously check down on the left double flatting will not stop that wheel route so that's why the wheel route is so good you can't put any flat zone that's going to defend it besides man coverage but yeah, that's pretty much it for FL Drive. Really, really good play. Probably my most called pass play in the offense. So let's move on to PA Deep Cross. Now with PA Deep Cross, what you're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put A on a post route. We're going to throw RB on a flat. And then we're going to put Y on a wheel route. So it's going to look like this. Um, now for the first setup, you're actually going to leave beyond his deep post. We're going to turn that into a corner route. But I can honestly snap the, snap the like this without any motion. Um, and this is going to be good. It's always nice to have like a deep threat. If it were man coverage, you know, sometimes Anderson's going to get a uh, nice animation on that. Uh, you see, we do have a little bit of separation, obviously with man coverage, the crosser is going to be killer to it. Um, but yeah, this is another setup I like because you don't want to motion on every single play. It can get, you know, a little bit annoying. Sometimes you just want to go, go out and snap the ball. So Again, the setup's A on a post, Y on a wheel, R, B on a flat, and snap the ball. No motion. I uh, can check down here through that very late. Um, but yeah, the crosser's going to get open a little bit late. Again, it is a little slow developing. Now, one thing I forgot to mention uh, that I should have said in the beginning of the video is that you do want your tight end on this weak side always. This um, short side of the field. It's very important that you have him on the short side for every setup. If he's on the wide side, it's going to mess up a lot of things. I definitely forgot to say that, but... Um, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I'm not going to restart. But uh, again, the same setup. One thing you can do now is you can actually motion Anderson from right to left, turn his post route into a corner route. The setup is decent against man coverage as well. Uh, you see the wheel route's still going to get open. Um, but yeah, it's just adding another extra step, you know. Now let's go to a different setup that probably my favorite setup out of PA Deep Cross. What you're going to do is, again, we're going to it's going to look very, very similar, almost the exact same setup. We got one different route. The different route is going to be beyond a flat, similar to FL Drive. We're going to motion them over, really just create, again, this flat concept. We still have the post route, and although they kind of are running the same area of the field, usually with that post route, you're throwing it before he gets to the numbers, so it's not too big of an issue uh, anyway. So again, the setup, A on a post, R, B on a flat, Y on a wheel, B on a flat. Uh, you see a lot of hot routing, so make sure you know where your hot routes are because this play, these plays take a while to develop. Jeez, we just got shedded. You see the crosser was a little bit open. Uh, obviously, without a clear out, it's not going to be super good, but a lot of people are playing zone job defense. They're not really running you know, stock coverage this year, so uh, usually one of those will be open. They're not typically going to double flat both sides, and if they continue to double flat both sides, usually in the middle of the field by themselves, 
you usually have a slant to post combo or something like that, crosser to post, whatever. Uh, so I'll show it one more time, and then we will hop into our next set of plays. we got three more plays after this. A on a post, B on a flat, or B on a flat, Y on a wheel. Motion him over, and you see we're motioning, motioning, motioning a ton. So he's never going to know what play you're running. Here I'm going to low ball to Waller. You saw the wheel route's open. The crosser's going to be open late. If not, the flat's going to be open as well with the running back. So that's it for P, that's it for P deep cross. Let's hop into our next uh, three plays, which will be wide trail, PA deep, and angle out. So uh, just hopping into them. I'm going to set them in my audibles. Obviously, these are not my typical audibles, but what I would do is just rotate between these plays. Um, if he's running man coverage, I'm going to go to PA deep a lot. Um, if he's running cover two, wide trail a lot, and then just, you know an overall coverage beater, angle out. Beats man coverage, beats zone coverage. You will see that. Um, but yeah, let's just set them up in our audibles. We got PA deep at B a one, and then we got angle out at R one. We'll start out with wide trail, our cover two beater. Uh, this play is really, really good. Uh, and I'm just going to run against a stock cover two. We got two setups for this play. The first setup, pretty standard. A on a post, Y on a wheel, or B on a flat. And then B's already on a slant, so we're just going to motion him over. Again, you see a lot of slants, flats, wheels, and posts. That's kind of the thing with the offense. Uh, against cover two, this... A little fade route does get open. Now, one thing with it is you see it's not super, super open. And, you know, Samuel doesn't exactly have the best route running. But um, there's going to be a way with our next setup that we can get him more open. Again, I'll show that Samuel route just like this. Again, same setup. Uh, just pass lead all the way to the outside. As you see, it is very, very tight. With better route running and better speed, that does get more open. So, uh, again, one more time, the setup A on a post. Y on a wheel. Uh, I could also throw maybe B on a flat here, but I like to have the slant to, slant, slant to post combo. Uh, that's definitely important to me. Here I'm going to check down against cover two. Those flats are deadly, deadly, deadly. I cannot stress that enough against cover two. You will throw to McCaffrey 100 out of 100 times. I feel comfortable saying even if I think I might have the touchdown, I might even still throw it to the flats. But yeah, so let's move on to our other setup, a way to open up. Curtis Samuel even more. We're gonna throw it B on a B on a streak. We're gonna put A on a drag in RB on a Texas. Um, <clears throat> I believe this was similar to. I'm not even actually sure. Maybe it was similar to the FL drive setup or no mesh post. Sorry, I got a little bit confused. This is similar to the mesh post. Um, you're gonna motion Robbie Anderson over. Really, what we're doing here is just putting stress on that free safety. We want him to play a little bit inside. And then we can throw it completely over the top. Before that wouldn't have been able, I wouldn't have been able to do that. That safety was way too close. With the streak, that is something I'm able to do. So again, be on a streak or a circle if you're on PlayStation. A on a drag, or be on a Texas motion him over from right to left. Uh, you do kind of want to uh, motion snap him. It does take him a little bit to get down, but you see, it doesn't matter. Still able to get super far over the top. So. That's pretty much it for wide trail. Let's move on to PA deep. Now, PA deep is going to be a man coverage beater. Uh, this play is really, really good. Let's go with two men under, just stock. Uh, now, with PA deep, uh, it's going to be better if there's not safety help over the top. A lot of people will probably play uh, their defense like this if they're running man coverage. They would play a style of you know something like this, maybe, whatever. So, uh, a lot of times, you're not going to see a free safety actually in a deep half. For anything, they would probably... You know, put Y on a middle third, and then maybe they actually, you know, go ahead and user peppers here. Just put a spy as their user, whatever. So they would play a style of defense similar to that. I'm um, assuming out of man coverage, unless you're playing a weirdo. But uh, you're going to throw X on a slant, A on a post. Again, A is on a post almost in all of these plays. Very important to have tight end apprentice. Y on a wheel, and you're going to flat RB. So it looks like this. Again, we have a lot of similar setups. Just Usually it's just the one or two routes. We're taking one route from every play, and we're using that to create a better setup. Uh, so we got B on this little weird post route to crosser route. Um, it's good, just stock. I could run this, and it would beat man coverage stock. But we're going to make that even better. We're going to motion him over from right to left. Again, since we motion, since we're on the short side of the field, we have more space for this beater. Uh, now, that was actually kind of a very, very weird animation where the D lineman that I put in a vert hook actually bumped him. So I'm not going to do that this time. That usually never happens ever when I'm running this. And let's just run, you know, the exact same setup um, on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, let's go, or defensive side of the ball and offense, I guess. So we're going to run two men under. 
shade over the top. Let's just throw vert hooks. We do kind of want to just clear out these guys. Uh, again, on offense, we are running A on a post, X on a slant, Y on a wheel, RB on a flat. So again, don't be afraid to throw those running backs every single time. We're going to snap the ball and you look at Robbie Anderson. Just get that separation. I know that I was on the free safety and I was doing nothing. Um, but again, that free safety is usually going to be on the inside third. If he is on the inside third, you usually want to bullet it. Uh, if he is not anywhere near, let's say it's just, oh shoot, I accidentally snapped it. Let's throw the ball away. If he is, if the strong safety is on the inside third, you can still lob it. Uh, but if that free safety is on, is on an inside third, I typically geez him. Sorry, I'm just confused between my controllers. I'm trying to make defensive adjustments and I keep spamming A on the wrong controller. So uh, let's just set it up again one more time against man and then we'll show the play against zone because the play still doesn't work against zone coverage. Let's hop on the D-line again. Uh, again, PA deep, A on a post, X on a slant, RB on a flat, Y on a wheel. Motion them over. Again, lob it if there's no one in the area. If not, you want to bullet it. So here... Just look at the route running. Anderson, no abilities. You do not need route technician. Route technician obviously helps it, but not necessary at all. And again, since you motion snap to me, he's not getting pressed. So that's definitely not an issue. So let's show it a couple of times just against stock coverage. Let's go with cover three. Uh, <clears throat> again, same setup. And overall, if you just mix between these six plays, your opponent's never going to be able to guess the player running. You obviously have favorites like I have favorites. I'm going to run FL Drive a ton. But um, just cycle between these a fair amount. You never want to continue to run the same play. And honestly, I feel comfortable saying you never want to run the same play twice in a row unless you're running halfback dive. So one more time, A on a post, X on a slant, RB on a flat, Y on a wheel, motion him over. Uh, let's just run against cover two here. And we will snap the football. Now you notice against cover two, Anderson actually does kind of get a little bit open. The safety's going to play it, but uh, be careful because sometimes, you know, maybe if he's on a hard flat, that's a route you can kind of quick snap throw. Um, but yeah, that's it for PA deep. Let's hop into our last play, angle out. This is a very diverse, unique play. Similar to wide receiver out out of Las Vegas playbook. It just has a different name. There actually is wide receiver out in the 49ers playbook as well. Uh, I just kind of like this better because my running back stock on a wheel or a block doesn't really matter. Uh, let's start out with man coverage because just stock this play is good against man coverage. I'll show you why. It's going to be Curtis Samuel. That's the reason why. He's on this weird kind of out route. That's why it's called tight end angle out. out. Uh, and you see he's going to create a little bit of separation. Now um, pressed, smaller receiver, not good route running. He's not really going to make too good of a play on that. But um, in ultimate team, you get bigger frame receivers. They do get separation on that. You throw it on break. That's the kind of look you want. Throw it on break. Low ball possession catch, uh, and you'll be in a good spot. Again, man coverage, can low ball. And again, you see I'm just snapping the ball, no adjustments. Uh, if they're running man coverage, you don't want them to get their hard flats out or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's hop into some other setups, um, mainly against cover three, what we're going to go ahead and be doing here. Uh, just for the first setup, what I like to do is throw Y on a wheel route, X on a flat. It's just going to be simple, two stock hot routes. We're going to motion Anderson out a step. I mean, he's going to be the one we're throwing. So we're just going to throw it to Anderson. A um, little tip, if you didn't know, if you aggressive catch, the receiver is going to run back to the ball, and you're not going to get those acrobat interceptions throwing curl routes. That's what pretty much every pro does when they throw those curl routes. Um, but, yeah, so, again, just X on a flat, Y on a wheel. Again, we're creating that combo that's going to be open. We still have our post route stock, so we don't have to put A on a post. We have our table route stock again. But, yeah, this play is really good against zone coverage. These little motioned out curl routes with the flat behind it, really good. Can low ball secure catch, aggressive catch. You're going to catch it either way. Um, but yeah, you can run this really against cover two. You're going to throw the table route um, primarily here. But again, it's just another kind of a quick snap setup. Motion them out a step, snap the football. And here I'm going to check down. You see just cover two, table route, cover three, curl route. Now we got one little setup with this. I don't really run this setup too much, but I think I will talk about it a little bit. Uh, it's just going to be, you know, be on a slant, uh, and then we're just going to put Y on a wheel route, X on a flat route, and then we're just going to motion them across. So it's going to look like this, you know, kind of a weird setup, um, but you see just post, slant, table route, wheel route, flat route, uh, just make a read. So again, we're kind of defeating the purpose of the play a little bit, just kind of a similar play, but I don't think we had any setup like this one. If I'm not mistaken, we always have one hot route. So this is just kind of putting everything together. Be on a slant, 
Exxon flat, Wana wheel, motion Anderson again over from right to left. So really, we never motion Samuel. You actually can't really motion Samuel at all. Um, but yeah, so here we're going to throw it to Waller. That was a terrible read, but uh, no one's really ever going to play three yellow zones this year. So that's not, definitely not an issue. But that's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Let me know in the comments what ebooks you want to see next. And peace. I'm out of here.